Open source AI just got an upgrade, and it's not the kind you're used to. AI2 released Olmo 3 in November and just dropped Olmo 3.1, but here's the part that surprised me. Most labs say open when they really mean here are the weights, good luck. AI2 went all in, fully open, weights and everything. It rivals Quen 3 despite using about six times fewer training tokens. Let's be real though. Even top open models still don't match closed ones on overall accuracy. I'm going to show you what Olmo 3 actually is, what it does well, and where it falls short. If you like videos like this, subscribe. We've got more coming out all the time. Out of all this, we get three variants. Base is purely pre-trained. Think is reasoning optimized with chain of thought traces. And then instruct is chat to tool use ready. So now, OMO3 comes from AI2. It's a nonprofit focused on advancing AI, unlike OpenAI and Anthropic who are after revenue. Now, AI2 released the core of Olmo 3. There are two sizes here. I have the 7B and the 32B. The 7B can run on a laptop, so that's great. The 32B is a bit heavy. You're going to need a higher-end GPU for that one. That's the foundation, but this is where Olmo stops behaving like a normal open-source release. Because unlike Meta and Mistral dropping weights and calling it open, AI2 gives you everything. They give you the Dolma 3 dataset, which is about 9 trillion tokens total. They give you full training and RL scripts, and they give you intermediate checkpoints from start to finish. So this isn't just something you download and run, it's a model you can actually inspect. And that changes what you can do with it as a developer. Now, what makes all this possible, you may ask? Well, first, for devs, this is why Ulma hits different transparency. You can audit it, you can fine tune it, you can add your own data, you can even fix biases. The tool behind all this is Olmo Trace, but what really that means in simple terms is Olmo Trace lets you trace a language model's output back to the training data that influenced it. So you can run a prompt and in one click you can see the training documents that connected to specific parts of the model's response. So visually this is what we see on our screen. You'll have an output here on the left, and on the right is where we see the documents and all these highlighted spans. It's showing where the model matches text from the training data, and it gives you URLs so you can judge how trustworthy these sources are. Is it right? Is it wrong? It's now up to you. Everything is Apache 2.0 and runs locally, and there are no usage restrictions. I'm going to jump into the AI2 playground here with Olmo 3, and I'm going to run the Think variant. I'm going to prop out something for code. Let's go with something like implement Fibonacci in Rust using recursion plus memoization. I'm going to add some test cases for a few numbers with a bigger value. Now look at this. We get a clean output with decent reasoning. And check out this part right here. This is the Olmo trace again. So I run this and we get back the documents and references for the output. This level of transparency is something closed models don't really give us. Where is this information coming from? Where are the URLs? One more quick one let's do. Let's do a math side of things. Let's jot out something that has to do with total travel time and run it. This gives us a clear output with a good breakdown that we can reflect back on. All right, performance time. For open source, it's not too shabby. It's strong. The Think 32B is the strongest fully open reasoning model out there. On math, it hits about 96%. On human eval plus, it's around 91%. But let's take all that with a grain of salt. Then Olmo 3.1 takes it further, with about a plus 5 on AIME, plus big jumps on instruction following and hard reasoning benchmarks. It's trained on way less data than Quen 3, but it's still neck and neck in reasoning in code. If you're building agents or reasoning tools, this is the kind of model you actually want to test. But performance alone isn't the full picture. Now the reality check on all this. Closed models are still going to beat this. This isn't topping Claude Sonnet or O1 on many things right now. Olmo 3 still lags in key areas like general chat and broad knowledge. It also only accepts text as input. There's no image or video processing in either direction. It's super English focused, and it can hallucinate more often than other models, especially closed ones. But something worth keeping an eye on here is Molmo 2, which released just a few days ago. This is their multi-model version that is meant to include advanced video processing. We'll see how this goes. So yeah, closed labs are still going to win in sheer versatility because of the scale and whatever else they're dropping into the mix.
Here's why this really matters. As we get closer to 2026, closed models are locking down harder than before. Olmo 3 is meant to be the counterpunch to all that. You can build your own reasoning agent, audit models for production, or contribute to actual open AI, not Sam Altman's open AI. So I'm curious, where do you think open source models are going to go from here, and how do they compete with the closed ones? We'll see you in another video.